Hi everybody! Welcome back to the last game for today. Uh, this is the fourth match that we have going. We know that we have had since twelve o'clock, and these, uh, the matches that we've been playing are composed of girls from, uh, you know, who have signed up individually with FSL, and now we put them randomly into teams, and then now they're gonna be playing world matches together. So. It's not entirely, you know, like gonna be like super polished or anything else. But if anything, you get to see uh, the skill level of certain girls and you know certain players in general. And um, uh, I think in the end, it balances out quite nicely. Uh, and we, we 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 can get really good games out of this. Like game that one today. Uh, if you haven't already watched, uh, I'm pretty sure it will come out as one of the highlights because game that one was insane. Like uh, Dota Plus, I think like predicted. A ninety percent maybe or eighty percent. I think it was seventy five percent win rate, and then after that it went up to like eighty ninety percent, and then yeah, something happened. So we'll see from there how it goes. Uh, of course, previously you know, uh, uh, what was on the screen was the scoreboard here. So the scoreboard basically uh is where you know the girls. Let me just switch to the scoreboard here. Yeah, so the scoreboard here is where your um. Scoreboard is where these girls, you know, uh, they are basically um, they, they have uh, they have a they have a bunch of account. Suddenly, my brain. Okay, anyway, so funny things but they are also playing for you know um probably something like the ability to buy themselves an arcana so that they don't walk into games completely naked um right now we're still waiting to get into the lobby itself so hmm what's going on yeah so sometimes there are like little, little bits of technical difficulties like the first like just now's game okay so let me just explain to you guys what happened in the last game uh so i i went into the lobby itself and for under the camera um basically the kinds of camera that you can um get right uh you have player perspective you've got directed camera so player perspective you're just looking at what the player is looking at directed camera um it's somehow some algorithm uh, of valves, valves that will decide like which part of the, uh, which part of the game to look at. Then you've got um, hero chase, which basically you just click on the heroes and it will chase the hero. Uh, and then after that, you've also got uh, the last one. You got free camera. So I went into game and I watched Ice Ice Ice. Um, I basically went to watch Ice Ice Ice. Uh, uh what do you call that? Um, I I watched his. I was watching his perspective. Okay, and then as a result, uh. When I loaded into game itself, into the lobby itself for the FSL game, uh, what happened was that uh, he, I was only locked onto one player's perspective. And I really don't know why. And I couldn't... Uh, I don't know why. Also, I couldn't open the console to, um, to, to correct things uh, because I'm pretty sure there's a console command for that. There's actually probably going to be a console command for everything. Uh, but yeah, so I wasn't able to correct that. And then, so as a result, I had to just spectate the game. And uh, yeah, and cast from there uh, wasn't the biggest deal. Uh, but of course, being in the lobby itself means that I don't see any. I don't. I'm not uh, watching with a delay. Uh, but of course, not the biggest deal for the stream. You guys are pretty happy as long as you can see games, I guess. So yeah, that is what happened with that technical difficulty there. And now what I'm doing is just I'm I'm just not watching. I I just um I I'm just choosing to sit here and you know like twiddle my thumbs a little bit while I wait for the games to go. So, okay. Yeah, we've loaded into the lobby. Okay. So, transitioning here to uh, the games, okay. So, you'll notice that this is all pick, okay. And that the ga the girls are... Sorry. What's going on? Uh, transition. The girls don't actually... Um, 
uh, uh, do captain's uh, draft, uh, captain's mode here because uh, what they just want to know, quickly get the picks in and quickly get the game started because uh, when they start playing officially, you know, uh, that's when you want to uh, focus on the draft itself. But right now, we're just focusing on individual plays and how well each player does. All right. So, to... We've got Gyro, Skyraf, Lich. Normally, this goes a lot faster here, but so far, okay, um, what I can see is that most of the players don't actually pick um, like the flavors of the month kind of thing because, you know, we just had a new patch, right? Okay, so, but in spite of having like the new patch, nobody has picked any of the patch um, cancers in that sense. Like, we haven't had any Pugnas or Nature's Prophets or Ursas or anything like... Uh, the girls generally still seem to stick to what was from the previous patch, so um, that's going to be... We'll see, like, like who actually starts um, uh, exploiting the new things of the patch and to uh, see who uh, is able to really adjust completely to the new patch because, of course, uh, with every new patch comes little tweaks, uh, little, you know, um, heroes getting buffed here and there. Uh, of course, Juggernaut has been a feature, for sure, because she, you know, Juggernaut has been... Uh, the, the Aghanim's upgrade is honestly pretty amazing. Uh, you get a little Omni, you get a mini Omni Slash, and uh, yeah, uh, it's pretty expensive, though, for the cost. It's 100 mana for something that is super spammable, so... Uh, mana management is going to be something Juggernaut needs to deal with. Um, yeah, but all in all, um, let's see. Okay, all in all, look, and now my camera is completely okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just never watching a game right now until I figure out how to summon my console because it's just not coming out right now, and I'm. I'm pressing my console button for all it's worth, but it's not. Yeah. Alright, so we've got... Uh, Alright, introductions again. We've got Nokimi uh, on that mid lane Queen of Pain. She did play a mid lane Ranger earlier on in the games. Uh, Aluka, who played an anti-mage also uh, in the previous... In the first game, I believe. She will be going uh, into the safe lane Juggernaut, followed by NY3, Nai3 on the Lich... The Disruptor, who will be going into the offlane, will be played by Joy. Blank will be playing the Earthshaker. And let's see if she dominates this lane as hard as she dominated with that mid lane Queen of Pain. On the other side here, we've got Ayamiya on the Gyrocopter. Han the Bun on the Support Shadow Shaman. They're going to go in aggressively onto this Gyrocopter. Let's quickly get over the introductions. Skyrath will be played by Naomi. Uh, the Rubik will be going to the offlane. Dota Broke. Play by uh yeah sorry the rubric will be played by Dota Brook and Pamu will be playing that um that centaur who is strong but not that strong right now she's gonna have to give the rune up to Aluka Aluka will be getting that rune yeah but holy crap and why um the lich dropping very very low does have first blast but doesn't want to quite use it yet can she run forward oh my goodness Pamu so incredibly strong super 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 strong. Alright, mid lane matchup, Queen of Pain versus Skyrath. Unusual, unusual matchup. Nokimi has gotten the advantage in terms of the in terms of the pool here. Yeah, she's gonna be just fine. It's gonna do a lot of damage to the Skyrath. She came to lane with two tangles and one south. Yeah, and a gyrocopter already dropping very low. Uh not much uh already down shoot through all those tangos uh you know joy doing a good job harassing from the trees also has a ring of basilius i thought this item was somewhat dead because of the fact that now uh you've only got 1.4 mana regeneration to your allies and all uh not quite worth but bot lead here looks like they're trying to go onto pamu pamu is very strong but i'm not sure it's strong enough one more hit yes actually she takes down the lich instead and right now she will pay for it with her life but um Dota, I mean, they lost two careers and they lost, and they gave up first blood. I think um, the Daya are very happy about this. Now, the Juggernaut as well as the Lich, uh, they don't, they don't, they won't be having careers for quite some time, um, about a minute or so. And uh, top lane again, it looks like Han the Bun might be going down here to the, yeah, going down to the Thunderstrike from the Disruptor. Uh, wasting that tango as well that she ate because um tangles aren't aren't any use you know they don't they they aren't any use if you're dead, they only work when you're alive. 
So Nokimi perfectly com uh perfectly managing the creep wave here, uh keeping it in her advantage to her advantage, sorry. And uh Rubik, Dota Bro, uh kind of blocked off here. It's probably gonna go down, but Luca also taking a lot of damage of her own. She's gonna beat up that Lich, but Palm was so incredibly strong. Holy crap. Uh, the creeps are beating down upon her for a bit. She doesn't have a point to who storm, so isn't going to be able to get really get that kill. But uh, she will solve up and be just fine. And now Dota Broke is going to come back full health, full mana. And I'm um, going to harass down this Juggernaut somewhere who does have a... Uh, so it does have a couple of tangles more to shoot through. So should be fine. Now Lich going to get a D ward. Top lane now, they seem to be going on to Joy. Joy does get the shackle, but in fact, uh, in spite of the fact that the kinetic field is going to separate them for a bit, Blank is going to try to bully them away. He doesn't have a point to enchant totem yet, so um, not quite able to punish the gyrocopter, but gyrocopter already having sent out a lot of regen for herself. Uh, I think more might be coming here. No, it's just the Wraith Bad coming out here. Yeah. So Queen of Pain also taking quite heavy harass from the... From the uh, Scarab, but Scarab is very low and not able to go for mana boots yet. Does she have the curry? Does she, is she? Does any one of them have a bottle coming out? Yeah, Queen of Pain. No, no bottle actually. Hmm. Prioritizing a salve instead and a stick instead. I can see why. Uh, right now, you know the runes now. The power runes now spawn at four minutes. Spawn at four minutes. So it's going to be not so much of a mad bottle rush. Uh, Dodebrook is going to pull instead, because pull as well, because they managed to get a pull off from here. So they're going to even out the lane equilibrium for a bit. Aluka will be in range for the EXP. They actually missed a pull, so the wave is going to push into the tower, which will also still be advantageous for the Dire, because it means that the lane later on, this 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 creep wave here that survived, the small camp, yeah, they're going to push out here. Okay, so yeah, this is... Uh, the, the Radiant, sorry, the Dire still get what they want to get out of this. Even manage to pull the range creep. Yeah, sometimes you wanna, you actually want to do this half pull here, because it's actually beneficial. So, uh, haste rune here for whoever gets it. Nokimi. Let's see if Nokimi with three points into Shadow Strike is able to get anything done on the Scarf, who's already dropping very low. Um, no bottle for her yet. Does have a healing self. Now the Queen of Pain is headed to the bot lane here. Uh, it's gonna put a lot of damage onto Dota Broke as well as the Lich uh, Frost Shield here. She's gonna get stunned up, lifted up as well. But uh, Nukimi is still gonna go forward. Oh my goodness, a lot of damage into Dota Broke. Uh, that's pretty much a dead Rubik. But well, let's look at the let's look at the the, the let's look at this uh, fight that's going on here. The Centaur who is still battling it out with Aluka here. One last hit. Will she be able to get it? She does have shoes. Oh no! It looks like Pamu has been baited it instead. And now Pamu looks like she's gonna give up her life. Nukimi getting a kill. And at top lane just now, uh, it was actually the gyrocopter going down to this combo of the Earthshaker and the Disruptor fights and uh, help, you know, things going on left, right and center. So this top lane seems to be very, very convincingly won by this uh, Earthshaker and Disruptor duo. Uh, Blank doing an incredible job. And um, yeah, with the help of the Disruptor. They are both now level 4, Gyrocopter, as well as the Shaman, they're level 3, actually Shaman's level 4. But Gyro having died a couple of times, I think twice? Or oh, once, once. Okay, so Gyro has died once. Um, that's going to be a, bit pro a big problem, you know, you don't want your carry dying so early in the game. If you look at net worth wise, of course, uh, Nokimi on the Queen of Pain doing very well. But a blank, giving her a good run for her money. Oh my goodness, actually, missing out that kill at mid lane here. A solo kill by the Queen of Pain, I think. Yeah. And then she gets her bottle re refilled. So Queen of Pain and the Earthshaker are doing very, very well. Juggernaut is doing okay, I guess. Not too bad. Did get bullied a little bit by the Centaur, but um, not the worst. Not the worst. And now Naomi is just level 4. Uh, this Queen of Pain is already level 6. That is uh, not where you want to see things going. And now Queen of Pain is very low, gets silenced up in the end. Will she go down in the end? She's gonna blink away, but that does not disjoint uh, the fate, the bolts from the. Oh my goodness, and top lane, sorry, bot lane again. Here, Aluka finally managing to get a kill on that pesky pesky uh, Centaur Wall Runner. Uh, 
Okay, top lane, they get a Fissure onto two. Yummy, it's kind of caught in, but Handabun is taking a lot of damage. Now they just lock them in. Oh, a double man, a Thunder Strike here, and now Joy is on a killing spree. She's going to try and battle it out with Handabun, but Blank is here to back her up. And uh, they're going to run into the Rubik here, who is going to Fate Bolt. Yeah, Joy, come on. Fate Bolt, no. Deciding not to go for it. Right clicks, yeah, right clicks her. Sorry, Fate Bolts her. Um, That's going to be a killing spree going to the way of Dota Bro. So, uh, 3k number of lead already for the Radiant, uh, seeing how the mid lane as well as the off lane went very, very, very incredibly well. Uh, the safe lane was kind of even, I suppose. Yeah, it was kind of even now with Juggernaut as well as the Centaur pretty much on par with each other. But Juggernaut winning the levels game here. So Juggernaut is going to be quite happy about that. And yeah, the Radiant in general. Let's see what the let's see what the die can really do to get back into this game. It seems like the Radiant in general have been quite overpowered. Uh and they have been winning their games quite well. Rubik poking her head around that side there. Let's see what this Queen of Pain will be going for. Observer Watts. What a carry. Actually buying Observer Watts here. <laughs> Alright, Gyrocopter up to level 5, but Earthshaker has already hit 6. Uh, she is the same level as the offlane Disruptor here, which is uh, really not a good sign, because you see Gyrocopter being forced out of lane. Uh, Gyro does play decently okay from behind, so that's not too bad. Oh, bot lane here though. They get a kill on to that uh, Shaman, and they'll be going instead for Pamu, but um, this Lich has got to be careful. Uh, wanting to throw the double edge on to Pamu. Uh, Pablo's still very strong. Juggernaut seems to be tickling her. Oh, but the sir, the sir, the, sorry, the Scarif is here. Shows up and they do take down the Juggernaut and it here a top lane again. Joy taking down the Gyrocopter again. Uh, almost by herself, I think. No, Echo Slam was expanded actually, so she will take down the Gyrocopter. Fights happening left, right, and center here. Now gonna find Pamu. Pamu probably be is pretty much dead. Yeah, no, Kimi is dead. Will she be able to get out of here? She blinks away. She's no, she's not able to get out of it because Dota broke here. Steals the Shadow Strike and is able to get her. Uh, another dominating kill streak. Actually, sorry, it goes the way of Naomi. So, in spite of that disastrous laning stage, it looks like Nokimi has fed away a quite a significant amount of gold. Handaban, uh, very dangerous position there. Oh no, blank. She's gonna walk up. She's gonna try to spin. No, she's gonna try to get the tower. Actually, enjoy. He's gonna go forward. Yeah. The oh, okay. Well, the shackle is gonna be on her, but it doesn't really matter because it looks like the shaman is pretty much dead. There is a stick charge here. Uh, there are stick charges on the. Oh, she, oh, but she's not gonna eat it. She's just gonna, she's gonna smack down that shaman. Hand bun, poor thing. It's a flattened bun right now. Are they gonna go for the sh for the outpost here? I keep saying shrine. Even after so long, I still keep saying shrine. Okay, yeah, it is the lich who will be going for the outpost instead. Perfect timing, just before ten minutes. And uh, I don't think there's anything the ruby can do because she knows that there are friends around the neighborhood here. That is a level 8 Rubik, as opposed to the level 5 Lich, so that's going to be a problem. But there are friends from the neighborhood coming in, okay, but there is a very beautiful Disruptor ulti and it's going to take down the Scarab in the end. And holy crap, the Scarab as well as the Rubik, sorry, they both look alike, but it doesn't matter because both of them go down at the same time. And now the Queen of Pain found the Gyrocopter, Iyami is pretty much going to die and it doesn't matter. The missile takes too long, and uh, yeah, Iyami is just way too weak, not even level 6 yet at 10 minutes in the game. Iyami, you're the carry, you know, you're not the, you're not the support here. So they've got to give Gyrocopter a lot of space, but uh, now that top tower is already down, mid tower is not down yet, so that's one good thing. Juggernaut is pressuring uh, the bot tier lane here later on, so... Gyrocopter is going to be uh, very pressed for space to farm. Han the Bun trying to make some space for herself, uh, trying to make some space for her carry, but they're not really doing anything because uh, none of the lanes really went well, and Scarif does have to make, start making moves around the map. Scarif trying to go for the uh, Rod of Atos that will be her power spike. So, uh, the sooner she gets there, the better, you know. The sooner she gets there, the faster her team is able to get something done here. Centaur's the only one who kind of did okay, so... 
We'll see. All right. Okay. So it looks like the Earthshaker caught out of position. They drop her down. Oh no! But okay, it doesn't matter. A little sloppy in the execution, but in the end, they do take that Earthshaker down. And Rubik will be very happy about that. Rubik also stole Glimpse, by the way. So uh, that's going to be a really good spell to bring anybody back. All right. Looks like they uh, try to ping out this uh, Centaur, but Centaur is super incredibly strong. Probably not who you want to go on, you know, immediately. Okay, the spin comes out, Handaban is in the area, and so is the Lich here. They're going to pull her back around here. Oh, okay, but the, the Hex as well as the stun. Holy crap, can they take down this Juggernaut? No, he's going to pop the... Oh, no, that was so quick! Holy crap! The Juggernaut, dead immediately. Now, Queen of Pain here to Adventure Friends. The Queen of Pain gets silenced up though. Can she take anything right now? Oh, okay, beautiful silence and the Disruptor is going to go forward. Allow the Queen of Pain to escape. And instead, they're going to turn on to Handaban. Handaban pretty bit. Not going to get the shackles off, but it doesn't really matter. Can he get from? Can he get any more? There is a glimpse. It comes back. It brings back the Skyraf. Skyraf pretty much dead. They drop the Kinetic Fuel. Holy crap. There's nothing much that the Rubik can do. They throw the Chain Frost onto the Rubik. Uh, looks like... Oh, Echo Slam as well onto the Rubik. And uh, very, very dead... Rubik here. That's a four for nothing. Oh wait, they didn't kill the Juggernaut for that. But I think the Juggernaut was uh, thoroughly avenged and now with that mid tower down as well as this bar tower here. Uh, 8k net worth lead for the Radiant. Uh, at 12 minutes in. Yeah, okay. Alright. And now Earthshaker... Uh, wait, how did Earthshaker get up there? What? No, 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 for real. How did Earthshaker get up there? Rubik didn't put... Did Rubik put her up there? Well, now she has to waste the TP. No, she has to blink dagger. Okay, she's blink. <laughs> but seriously. How did she get up there? Oh, okay. Pamu gonna come forward. She wants really wants this tower. No, Pamu gets the, the deny on the tower. Well played. Tipper, tipper. Well, well played. Alright, Rubik. Probably try to save up for a blink. And uh, the Radiant will now disengage. Hmm. Palmer with the blink going for the Aghanim Scepter. Going to be so annoying and so elusive. All this while, okay, space for Ayami to farm. Uh, Ayami going for uh, face boots now. Two Wraith Bands. May have to go straight into the BKB. Not the most ideal, but she is strong. Uh, probably usually before you get a BKB, you want to get a raid. You want to get a uh, one damage item. But right now, you know her game is she's so she's doing so poorly that um, you probably just have to fight with your team. Uh, there's not much that you can really do. Lots of uh, friendly banter going back and forth between these girls. Uh, you know, they know each other very well, uh, okay? And uh, they're no strangers to each other. Top lane again, it's Handaban who goes down to Nokimi. Nokimi on a dominating streak. Four kills in him. Does have an arcane rune running and a DD rune. Yeah, that, that, that seems balanced. That, that seems balanced. And uh, it seems like the die have forgotten about the outpost. Gyrocopter, you can do it. You can um, turn the outpost back. Yeah, probably. Ayami should be the one doing it. Uh, the Radiant will be grouping up, I think, here. Yeah. They probably want to find the Gyrocopter, but they don't have the best vision in the uh, jungle here. Yeah, they don't see anything, honestly. The Radiant uh, wards are not very good, but there's something they can definitely improve on. They probably might run into the Gyrocopter with Joy. Joy is smoked up. She might see the gyrocopter if she walks forward a little bit more. Yeah, they do see they're pinging her to come forward. Now the lich is coming in as well. Okay, she's able to glimpse back. Glimpse back. No, she's not able to glimpse back. Oh no, it's only a level 1 glimpse right now. Oh, okay. But in the end, Joy, 4 points into Thunderstrike is going to be able to take out. Will she run into the rest of them though? Will she have to pay for her sins? And now the lich, okay, she's going to throw. She's going to throw the in the out as well. Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. And in the end, the, gyro, the disruptor does go down. And that's a beautiful chain force coming out though. 3 heroes here. No teammates here. Oh no, Delta Slit. No, Naomi goes down in the end. Beautiful chain force coming off from the lich. Although she does go down in the end. But uh, yeah, just the power of grouping up around a chain force. That's going to be a 4 for nothing again. Ooh. It's not fun for the side of the Dyer. <laughs> now 11k net worth lead for them. And uh, Queen of Pain already has the Orchid. The supports are completely squished. They are nowhere near any items. They cannot reveal themselves. 
While Scarif does have the Rod of Atos and did take out the, the Disruptor, I think she got a killing spree. Yeah, correct. A dominating streak, sorry. Naomi did get a dominating streak on Joy, but that 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 that, that still isn't the, the most helpful thing because it's on a support. You're not even dealing with this Earthshaker, Disruptor, Queen of Pain problem that you have. Yep, so big problems coming in for the side of the Dire. Uh, Sintor does have a Vanguard trying to build into Blade Mill and then the Blink. What, that's Gyro going for? Gyro, still nothing queued up yet. Not much money to queue up anything, to be honest. Uh, her farming area has been taken up. She doesn't have any space. Oh my goodness, Han the Ban gets taken out immediately by the Earthshaker. Holy crap. That is a lot of damage. Let's see how much she dealt by Enchant Totem here. Yeah, alright. A, a thousand damage from Enchant Totem. Holy crap. And uh, instead over here, they'll be trying to fight and trying to take down Nokimi. Nokimi is going to be able to make it away. Now Naomi actually has the Thunder Strike onto her. But it looks like the Lich will be going down first. Uh, they throw the Chain Frost onto her. The... Rocket is going to chase down the Lich in the background as well. The Scarab is going to go down, but it's not the... Yeah, Lich is also going to go down, but it's not the biggest deal. And now Aluka has showed up to the fight. Very, very strong. Sonic Wave into two as well. Holy crap, that's a very dead gyrocraptor. Oh, follow-up! Echo Slam! Hit that! Hit that centaur. Pamu is very dead. Again, trading your supports for the entire team. Uh, Rubik not really able to get anything much. Oh no, gets yield up. Was that her own yields? No, that was the gyrocopters. Sorry, uh, the Earthshaker's yields. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be a four for. That's gonna be a full team wipe for two supports. The Radiant are again very happy for this. So oh my gosh, I really don't see a uh, way back for into the game for this for Dyer. I. Uh, and I think Dota Plus will agree with me here. Uh, oh, Dota Plus still gives them the 2% chance, the kind 2% chance. Alright, let's see what 2% they can pull out of their pocket. Gyrocopter going for a Maelstrom now. I don't know if it's too late because right now she has nothing to her name. Really nothing. Two Ray Bands that's a count as something. Oh my goodness, she's getting bullied by this, uh, by, by this Earthshaker here. Okay, I think, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Like, there's nothing much this gyrocopter can do, but they can go on the Lich, and they will take down the Lich in the end. They have caught the Queen of Pain right now, but she is silent. She's lifted up. They throw the walls down to her. Mega kill streak going the way of Han the Bun. Alright. So, did that cost a dip in... Yeah, that cost a tiniest dip in the XP here. Uh, net worth-wise, nah, not as much. I don't think it makes a big difference. In fact, oh my goodness, they tipped the skill 99% to 1% here. Oh boy, uh, I think that kill on the Gyrocopter really showed uh, how strong the Earthshaker is. Uh, already two items ahead of that Gyrocopter. Gyro sitting right here, 7th on the net, sorry, 8th on the net worth. 8th on the net worth and Earthshaker is 1st. Okay, so get bullied by an Earthshaker in the mid lane over here. They're going to use themselves up to try to avoid the damage from Naomi. And Naomi looks like she's going to be stuck there. Although the cooldown is there on the two. But it doesn't really matter because Naomi is pretty much dead to the Thunderstrike. Handaman going to find the Juggernaut. But Juggernaut is too quick, too strong, too fast. And instead they will look for uh, the poor Shadow Shaman here. So yeah, Shadow Shaman glimps back. Juggernaut, really very, very strong hero. Not much you can do about it. At least Pamu gets the rune. Goes back to farming. Uh, I don't even know if she can get this tower. It's still relative. It's still half health at least. Uh, this is a full health tower. Basically a full health tower. So they, they, they hardly touched anything honestly. But they won't be proceeding to high ground. They're not going to try to throw away this lead that we got. They, they really baited out the they really baited out the glyph. So they're going to be very happy about that. Joy already dropped the sneaky ward in the base here. Yeah, they know about it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they know about it. They probably aren't going to be trying to go high ground because they still don't have the... The entire team is not really here with them. But uh, let's see what they want to do. They are 15k that will lead a hit for the side of the Radiant, so... Uh, they can't afford to go forward this way. But uh, I think the call might be to go for Roshan instead. Aluka... Maelstrom into Yasha has already bought the Manta style just so she can buy the uh, ultimate orb from the secret shop. Nokimi going for 
again, the same build that she went, the Orchid into BKB here, uh, which has proven to be very effective and um, very helpful. Like, she is able to, you know, extend her lead and make sure that she doesn't throw the game. Alright. Dota Plus, what do you think? 99% chance. Alright, so there's still that 1% chance. Alright, they scan out already and they hit the fact that Joy is in the... Uh, uh, they hit the, the fact that Joy was in the Roshan pit. So, they probably know that Roshan is up, but I don't know if they can really contest. All the alts are up on all the team, uh, on both sides of the team. But, um, the thing is that the... Oh my goodness, everybody... The, the highest net worth on their team is Pamu, right? Okay, and Pamu is still like... Oh... Uh, 6k as compared to the next level which is the 9k of the Queen of Pain. So are they deciding yeah they can find a DD rune here. DD rune just for Aluka and they're gonna make quick work of Roshan. Yeah, there, there's nothing the Dai can really do to contest this. And off they go! Uh DD rune on the Juggernaut and the Aegis as well. Dragon skill in hand. What does Queen of Pain have? Grove bow, alright? Uh, Philosopher Stone. Uh, hello. Would you like to come out? She get. She has an Ironwood. She has an Ironwood three. Three. I mean, all right. Six attributes seems good, but um, is it really worth your time? Come on. Come on. Air Shaker, you need to group up with your team. They want to push, or are they going for this? Yeah, they're going for the bot here. They're going for this. Uh, top. Sorry, the bot here. Two here. Uh, the very last map, the very last outer tower re remaining on the map for the uh, rip for the dire. So juggernaut super strong. Uh... <laughs> uh, oh no, now Ruby has Fissure, I think. Yeah, Ruby has Fissure. I was thinking Blank should have probably dropped the enchant totem to stop them, stop the uh, Rubik from stealing it, but uh. Sometimes you forget, maybe. Sometimes there's a rubric you forget. Uh, sorry, when there's a rubric on the enemy team, sometimes you forget. Alright, uh, so you see Pabu has been secretly pushing the tower here. Okay, trying to get a bit of damage, trying to force somebody to defend this. But of course, it's a tier 1. It's not the biggest deal. So she's going to deal a lot of damage right now. But instead, oh my god, there's a huge echo slam onto the gyrocopter. Gyrocopter did for 44 seconds. Pa Pabu is here, he pops it out as well. But not able to do anything much. Another chain frost coming out. Doesn't really do that much damage in the background, actually. Uh, I think the juggernaut is going to go down to the edge. Sorry, the juggernaut is going to go down to the edges right in front now here. But that's going to be not a big deal. Because in the end, the lich dies in the background. Uh, but that's about it. Are they still chasing for more here? Yeah, no creamy is gonna be just fine. So Skyrath again committed everything behind in the background, but um, just not able to kill off anybody because they only lose a lich, and uh, nothing else much. They do lose the ages, of course, but um, that's a given, right? Like they do you lose the ages. And Earthshaker, so incredibly strong, actually deciding not to go for the Aghanims, went for the BKB instead, and I think it paid off, uh, allowing her to get the beautiful Echo Slam, allowing them to kill off the Gyrocopter, who is uh, nothing much for the creep with wings right now. Alright, if I Gyrocopter back to the fray, they don't actually take any of the wrecks, and now the missiles chasing, who will it be on to? I think it's up to the Juggernaut here? Yeah, it's on the Juggernaut. So Aluka will be able to spin on Manta Dodge? No, Manta Dodge, no, nothing. But they get the... Okay, they're finding the uh, Shaman as well, who is pretty much very dead, but also the Earthshaker as well. A Wicked Six Street going the way of Naomi, but the Aluka is coming out forward. They'll take down the uh, Centaur in the end, who does have to buy back. Now, Akeem, the Gyrocopter, has... Going back down again. Holy crap. Okay, there's a lot of damage. And, and a Rubik as well. Nothing much you can really do. So much damage coming up. But oh my goodness, Jaira is Juggernaut dropping kind of low, but we'll be just fine. Now Queen of Pain rooted up. Will she be able to blink away? Yes, she will. Can they find any more kills? No. They forced two buybacks. Uh one from this one from the Centaur and one from the Rubik. So they will be very happy about it having extended their lead and uh, having only lost, I believe, the Lich and the Earth Shaker. So they take a tower for that. Don't get the Rex, but uh, all in all, still pretty good. And a 24k net worth lead. Okay, Dota Plus, what do you think? Still 1%. Alright, if it's still 1%, there's still a chance, okay? Still a chance. Nakimi, fantastic use of BKB's islands. Oh, such brilliant plays coming out from her, honestly. I think she's somebody to look out for. Uh, and, you know... Just, just one of the players, one of the more outstanding players on uh, for in in the groups in in these uh, in in these individual matchups here. All right, no Roshan, no outer towers. So 
this is a bit of a, you know, some time for, there's going to be a bit of a lull, uh, some time for the gyrocopter to farm up who already does have a javelin, and the vampire fangs as well is going to go quickly for the metro hammer, but oh my goodness, they actually do find the disruptor here, who was actually on a warding mission, I think, uh, and she will go down. They will actually also farm up the ancient stack here, so there's going to be a big chunk of cash going the way of the dire. I hope it's going to be enough because there are friends coming into the neighborhood. Luca's going to go forward, but she gets hacked, she gets stunned up as well. Holy crap, the follow up! It's not enough, the juggernaut, unstoppable kill streak actually going away, walking up high ground like that, and now the chain frost is going to go off, but it's not really going to do much. Pamu now caught in the world of her, but no, actually it's the lich who's going to be able to get out of here. No, the stun is not going to hit, and now they're actually going to go instead for Pamu. No, they're going to ignore her. They're going to go forward, kill the creep, kill the skyraf. Han the bun dropped the wards, but there has no disable here. And now in the background here, they're going to go and chase for the centaur. So even though the the fight is super disjointed. Yeah, she's gonna fight Handaban. Handaban did not have the uh, hex or anything. Okay, they're gonna get the silence on to her, but no, Handaban goes down and the Skyraf there's no longer has the um has the Mystic Flare, but instead uh, it will be the Skyraf. Sorry, it will be the Earthshaker who goes forward, tries to get the kill onto the Skyraf, but nah, this will just open the way for them to take the to take the Rex. So okay, silence followed up by the Oh okay, alright! Skyraf demonstrating the ability to, you know. To delete heroes from the game with just an ATOS and uh, well, I think, yeah, Queen of Pain didn't have her, Queen of Pain didn't quite have her, uh, her BKB off cooldown and they'll drop the, the out for this but the Scarab will live, there's not a lot of damage done. What did Rubik steal is, yeah, okay, stole, um, Thunderstrike, so, that's alright still. Uh, I think you don't want to give glimpse to your child, to the, to the Rubik, that's the, that's the, the one skill. Uh, they walk away with the range tracks but not the melee ones, so... All in all, still okay, but 27k net will lead ahead. Uh, that throw, though, from <laughs> the Kiwi. Dominating streak going the way of that Skyraf. Can they jump anymore? Uh, Earthshaker, so incredibly strong, going, uh, changing up again. Had a Desolator kill queued up, but now going instead for... Uh, what? 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 It was a Shadow. It was a Shadow Blade, and now she's going for a Lincoln's instead. Okay. I guess the Lincolns you should always want to put it onto Aluka or onto the Queen of Pain. Alright, they see them, they gotta find, oh no, the Juggernaut again, the spin away, they're not able to chain it in time. So, the, not even the, the, oh, she tried the Manta dodge, <laughs> no, she tried the Manta dodge a bit so much, not gonna be it looks like Joy is gonna be the one to pay for the sins, but oh my goodness, it's a ginormous Echo Slam coming in from the side of play, a three-man fissure into a three-man Echo Slam, it looks like Pabu's been baited into this, and she's dealing a lot of damage through the plate, but it doesn't matter, you're gonna go instead for the Rubik, Rubik's, it's gonna be Spider walking herself away, let's lift it up, nah, sorry, the Disruptor is gonna go down, I said, no, they're gonna take down the Rubik. Oh my gosh. What a play from Blank. This of Shaker. Styling over all of everyone. And GG is called. And this looks to be a quick, good game, well played. 29k net worth lead at 29 minutes in the game. Uh, wow. Good game, well played. And uh, Radiant Victory. The no Kimi. No Kimi, Queen of Pain was just too much for them to handle. And uh... Wow. Alright, so that was a pretty pretty straightforward, as straightforward as it gets, you know. Uh, you win your lanes, and then you snowball off your lanes, you get BKBs, and then you win the game. Uh, yeah, pretty much so, yeah. Uh, I think that was really just as straightforward as, as that. Like, there wasn't any way to really uh, improve or to come back from this. Naomi tried her best as the Skyraf did get a couple of crucial kills, but I think her lane uh, in the beginning was just too difficult for her to handle. And as a result, uh, yeah, that's just unfortunately how it goes. And um, yeah, so this will be... This will be the last game for today unfortunately uh, but we will be back of course with um, you know the rest of the FSL Dota solo uh, sorry with the rest of the FSL Dota 2 uh, circuit so what happens is that FSL will always have you know um, games that runs in circuits right so you'll have teams trying to qualify for the tournament and ultimately they'll try to make it to FSL Elite um, so yeah, that will be coming up very soon and you'll see a lot of these girls uh, being featured in the tournament itself. Um, yeah, and I'd like to thank you guys for sticking with us through this whole, um, you know, for today's games. Yeah, I've been here since 12 o'clock, so I probably assume you guys have been here too as well. And um, yeah, so 
that will be all for today. And uh, if you want to know more about FSL's updates, uh, you want to know when they're holding their tournaments or when they're holding matches, or if you just want to be part of the community, you can find them on at, at you know Female Esports League or FSL Dota 2 uh, on Facebook, t- Twitch, Instagram. And uh, yeah, you get to see basically uh, all the updates that they have. And yeah, then you get to see me again sometime if you want. Uh, you can follow me on Ashley Rita Wong on Instagram, Twitch, and uh, Facebook, and Twitter as well. So that is all I have for you today, folks. Uh, thank you for staying and watching. And that will be the end of today's broadcast. Bye-bye.